morning, Sam. Oh, there you go. It's another early morning. Time for a little treat. Oh, you want to treat the morning? No? Okay, come on. Let's go to the cage and get your breakfast. Come on. There you go. There you go. Here's your breakfast. You're welcome. Go ahead. So I'm getting up early in the morning today and driving about 45 minutes away to my first one. And it's got a whole lot of Garfield stuff. Let's see if I can pick up. If I'm lucky, I might end up with a whole basket full of it. Even have my little collector's guide here to help me along figure out what I have. So should be fun. I'm, I've already reserved my spot in line, 23rd in line. So we'll see what I get. So here I am at my first one. It is loaded with Garfield. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm only going to have this little Garfield animation yeah. play once because otherwise this whole video is going to be filled with nothing but that Garfield jumping up and down. I grab a few of these stuffed animals that look the oldest. Probably should have grabbed more. They're two bucks a piece. Yeah, I grabbed those sitting there and uh yeah, the bank for six dollars. So well, I can't lose there. Grab that bank and so much good stuff up here that I probably should have grabbed more of. Little holiday ornaments. I already have those McDonald's mugs down there or the cups, so I don't bother with those. I grab these salt and pepper shakers too. Had to come back and get some more. I really should pick up a whole lot more of these. Just grab all of them. Maybe have a big whatnot sale day and try selling on whatnot for my first time. But here we go. I wasn't expecting this. And it glows. That's uranium glass. It's definitely from the field. It's a Fenton. It almost has this chalky feel to it. And <laughs> I told myself I will never buy a collector's plate. Ever. But yeah, I think I pick up every single one of these. <laughs> I just come back the next day when they're having a 50% off sale and I grab them all. And only three bucks a piece at that point. So that was a pretty good Garfield haul. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to go over, so I have to do it at the rundown at the end of the video. Too much to pull out right here in the car. But, well, yeah, I might head to my next one. There's a few things I saw I might want to look at. I don't know, but I'm out and about already, so might as well go take a look. They have a new camera today, so hopefully things look and sound a little better. And my first sale today, probably my only sale today, is amazing. Um, it's loaded with 80s, early 90s, some 70s collectibles. Now, I'm probably not going to get any good deals here. Uh, so they've been staging this for about a month or two months. So the prices are going to be competitive with eBay more than likely because they've got to make for you know a month or two's worth of money for multiple people working on this not making not getting any income from us a month or two on this project so they'll be priced pretty high um, <clears throat> I signed up uh, there's gonna be so uh, it's gonna be so popular that there's gonna be a lot of people there today probably over a hundred um, I signed up the for this particular one that was they expected such a huge crowd they had a early sign up online and i signed up within the first second or two and somehow i was still 55th in line 
So they probably had buddies or whatnot or people already on their or regulars on their email list that they gave priority. So uh, the best stuff would probably be gone, but I don't know if I really want the best stuff because they're going to be charging a high price. But <clears throat> it's going to be fun to take a look at all this. It's it, it's just something, even if I don't buy anything, it'll be worth looking at just to see all the stuff. So. Yeah, I'll go check it out. I, in fact, let me see. Let's see what kind of pricings they've had historically. I keep my little notebook, or let's just say a business card book. Pretty much all the estate sales in the area. And this one, yeah, in the past they've been really friendly and had really great prices. So, we'll go check it out. Alright, I'm finally yeah. in. 55th in line. Yeah. But it's not too bad. I pretty much get most everything I wanted here. Found a little Garfield puzzle. And it's just overwhelming. I could be here for hours. Only stayed about 30 minutes or so. G.I. Joe's, I think. Old dungeon game from TSR, the original makers of Dungeons and Dragons. They want 55 for that, and I don't even know if it's complete, so I pass on that. Hey, it has a Garfield on it, so why not? I'll put it in the bag. And that's a little booklet for a Transformer. And sometimes they sell for money, so I just grab it. I don't think they're even going to charge me for it, hardly. Meow. Meow. Not exactly sure what that was at the time, but uh, it's sealed and looked like Garfield, so in the bag it went. And there's so many little trinkets and toys to dig through. And this was this was kind of neat. And in hindsight, I should have just grabbed that whole keychain and ran with it because I came back a couple minutes later and it was gone. The whole thing, all kind of little Rubik's cubes and LA gear. It's all kind of vintage keychain stuff. And another box of toys. Hmm. Little Garfield, I'll snag him. There's like a bunch of like Happy Meal type toys in here. Yeah. Yeah. Even more Garfields. Little Pez dispensers, they're not very old, I don't think. And gotta dig through the stuffed animals yeah. when I see it, and there's some stripes. Yeah. So another one for the bag, and there's another one. And I see some more stripes down there. Oh, just a tiger. Trapper keeper. Some of these can go for big bucks. Some of the vintage ones like that. Tons of computer stuff, but I don't even bother going through it. Just, man, this place is loaded. An Empire Strikes Back um, sleeping bag. I'm pretty sure it's Empire Strikes Back. I think I had one of those. I gotta grab the pumpkin I was looking at, but I don't have the space for too many of those little jack-o'-lanterns. Let's grab some more random odds and ends out of this box. And you know me, I love my calculators. I always grab calculators. I sell them pretty well. As long as they're Casio, uh, Texas Instruments, big names. And then hiding back here. Yeah, look at that yeah. little clip on Garfield. Yeah. Yeah. 
And another clip on I've never seen before. An elf. A general lead. And this is cool. I had this game as a kid. The box is a little crushed and moldy, so I'd probably have to throw the box away. I decided to try to open it to see if it was complete or not, because I pretty much know what all should be in the box. But when I opened it, I could still see and hear the original packaging, so it's probably never been opened. It's probably complete, so... I was tempted to get this Solar Quest, but they want 55 bucks for it. And I don't know, maybe I'll go back and see if there's a half price day. I don't think anyone's buying that for 55 bucks. And oh man, the Transformers and GoBots. This table was amazing, but the prices were incredibly high. I mean, just look at all this vintage stuff Star Wars, you name it, man. But like this little guy was a hundred and what does it say there? Over a hundred almost two hundred bucks and the card is warped and moldy. Oh, I didn't get it. No, no, no. I don't collect I don't collect this stuff, but I just wanted to see it. It's really cool to see. I mean if it was a dollar a piece I collect it, but I don't I don't pay those prices for it. Okay, that's over with. That was a fantastic sale. I paid 30 bucks for everything. And I got this Garfield Playform set that's sealed in the box. I think it's vinyl stickers, like a play set. I got a Garfield puzzle. I got a vintage Trapper Keeper from the 90s. Some of these can sell for that $30 I paid alone. I'll take a look and see what this one is. I know some of the ones with the Lamborghinis and stuff are probably worth more, but uh, I got the Dungeon. I used to have this game, the Dungeons and Dragons electronic game where you move your little guys on the board. I would think those sell complete for 40 without the box. I don't remember exactly. The box is in rough shape. It's kind of moldy. But I looked inside and it looks like it's complete. It looks like it's never been taken out of the box. And a whole bunch of knickknacks. You know, I just throw stuff in, in a big pile. Uh, ship, ship, <laughs> ship orientation for the USS Tuscaloosa. <laughs> and some Garfields, Garfield on a sled. A Garfield being Garfield. I always pick up calculators because you never know. They charge you a buck for them, and you never know what to be worth. A little clip-on Garfield and Alf. Pretty cool. Some other little Garfield knickknacks, little toys, a General Lee toy, a handful of stuff. But uh, this might be a, it looks like a Star Wars toy. So we'll have to see. Don't see any markings on it? But yeah, we'll look all this up later. Uh, and always grab these little toys. It looks like there might be a GI Joe gun or something to a vehicle. Some of these times the vehicle is easy to find, but the little guns and peripherals that come on it go for a lot of money. Which I don't know what that is. It might be worth nothing. It might be worth 30, 40 bucks. So, all right. Yeah, just going to take a look and see what else is around here. Maybe hit a thrift store and take a look. So I don't go to Goodwill too often. The prices tend to be really high nowadays. It looked like uranium glass at first, but it wasn't. And this looked like it was a cut to clear vase, but it's just a cheap, cheap vase. I'm not interested. And I decided to go check out the paintings, because you never know. Start looking around for anything that looks old or interesting. And 
right out. And I passed over out of the corner of my eye. I saw it. And yeah. I saw this and I immediately knew who this artist was. Oh. Uh, or who is in the style of. But yeah, it's uh, I looked it up. And this artist sign is uh, Frank Frazetta. It's not his normal subject material. Normally he does knights and barbarians and women. This looks like it might have been a cover to a comic book. It's a print. Um, more than likely, it's a print. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm thinking it might be worth 20 bucks. I looked it up and they sell about for 50, 50 brand new. And this is pretty close to period, 66. Probably, it's probably from the 70s. Well, yeah, if you don't recognize that artist, he's, um, if you don't recognize the name, you, you may recognize this piece here uh, with a knight on a horseback. And some of his paintings have sold for a lot of money. Millions. So he's definitely well known. He's uh, known as the grandfather of fantasy art. And, yeah, I mean, if this were an original, <laughs> uh, it's not his normal subject material, so who knows, 600000 maybe? But, oh well. It's definitely worth five bucks to me. And uh, the Garfields, oh man, so many Garfields. I bought Garfield plates, I bought Garfield statues and books. I've got, uh, a lot of these went to a friend of mine's kid. They were pretty cheap. Little posters. All vintage stuff from right around the mid 80s, some early 90s stuff. And the banks. Now they surprised me. The Garfield Bank. And I paid six bucks for each of the banks, the Odie and the Garfield. And they're worth one's yeah, here. 40 for the Odie plus shipping. 15 for the Garfield. And when I opened them up, you could I was shook them to see if there's any money in it. And there wasn't any change. But when I got them home and opened them up, it had about twenty five dollars in old bills in it. So <laughs> I made my money back on the banks just by opening them. So yeah, a really good haul. Um, and yeah, including this little Fenton vase. I think what was it six bucks they charged me for it. And you can see it glowing here. And I'll, yeah, I might sell that one too. But yeah, I'll definitely make money. Not a ton. You know, it takes work. But, you know, when you're selling things that you actually enjoy and you know a lot about, then it's, you know, passes the time pretty well and make a little bit of money on the side too and get to pay off my own hobby. So it's pretty nice. So, yeah, hopefully... With some of my new gear here, I got a new camera. Next next week it might even be in 4K video. So find out. So I'll see you next week.